Hello and welcome to Debt Busters. In today's video, I'll show you how you can make money on YouTube by re-uploading videos in the sports niche. I will also show you examples of channels doing this and reveal how much they are earning. Additionally, I will give you tips on monetizing your channel without meeting the YouTube part of program requirements. You might notice the topics of the videos are coming from conversations I have with viewers in the comments section or from polls in the community post. So be sure to comment on the video and participate in the polls to tell me what kind of content you'd like to see. Subscribe and turn on the post notification. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. Can you imagine making money without having to make any videos? That would be incredible, wouldn't it? I'm sure everyone would want that. So how can someone make money on YouTube without creating any videos? I'm sure you've thought about it. I suppose re-uploading is the solution. Yes, you can start earning money by uploading content created by others. I know several channels that run ads on re-uploaded videos and make money with Google AdSense. So how can you start re-uploading videos and earning money similarly? I'll show you how to do it. A word to the wise. You may notice that there is a lot of competition in the sports niche. You'll see channels playing clips of NBA, NFL, and USC and think these channels are rolling in money. In fact, many of these channels might have their most successful videos copyright striked. There are ways around this that you can learn. One of them is to never use clips from major league sports in the first place. You'll have to be more creative with your titles and thumbnails. However, the competition will be lower, your viewers will be loyal and passionate, and you'll be more likely to monetize your channel. Use clips from high school and college sports that don't make it to TV instead, if you want to be sure to avoid copyright claims. That being said, for entertainment purposes, we'll assume all the channels we talk about are monetized and have no copyright strikes. If you're interested in learning how to get around copyright strikes in the sports niche comment hashtag interested in the comments section. I'll make a video about it if I get more than 50 people commenting hashtag interested. So the first thing you need to figure out is an interest. Think of it as a YouTube niche. In our case, we have chosen the sports niche for today. The sports niche is intriguing because you can venture into any category of sports, whether it's boxing, rugby, soccer, football, basketball, or any other sport you enjoy. So once you've narrowed your niche to a sport you want, you can start searching for videos related to that sport and re-uploading them to make money. I recommend that when you do this, you include commentary on top of the sports videos to avoid being banned. To help you understand how this is done, I'll show you some examples of channels in various categories in the sports niche so you can see how they do it. So the basketball focused channels are the first category. You can show the best plays of the week in a highlight reel with slow motion shots on a simple top 10 countdown with this faceless sports YouTube channel idea. If you want to focus on basketball, numerous coverage opportunities exist, particularly during the NBA season. However, it is not limited to the NBA. You can also specialize in college basketball or even a favorite athlete. Golden Hoops makes our list of sports YouTube channel ideas because they have over 1.4 million subscribers and receive 15.2 million views per month. According to Social Blade, this channel earns an estimated monthly income of $3,800 to $61,100. However, on Debt Busters, we know Social Blade's CPM range is incorrect. Social Blade uses a default CPM range of $0.25 cents to $4 per 1,000 monetized playbacks. Meanwhile, channels in the sports niche earn between $5 and $35 per 1,000 monetized playbacks according to my research. A niche like basketball with a wider non-specific audience will likely earn towards the lower end of the range. Even at a $5 CPM, we can conservatively estimate that Golden Hoops is earning around $75,000 per month. They make this much money because of their large number of viewers, particularly for their NBA's most heated moments segments, which receive millions and millions of views. NBA Zone is another sports channel that takes a slightly different approach to basketball by focusing on being a public informant on the inside scoop. They have over 21,900 subscribers and discuss trade rumors and other topics. They have videos like 10 Things You Didn't Know the NBA Banned Forever under their fan favorite section, which is popular. It's almost like a fun fact section dedicated to just NBA sports. These videos have over a million views. The football-focused channels are the second category you can explore in the sports niche, like basketball, the NFL, college football, and pro football in general are excellent options for our list of faceless sports YouTube channel ideas. Consider these football niche channels, for example. NFL Throwback makes the list of sports YouTube channel ideas due to its unique approach that resonates with fans. NFL Throwback lives up to its name by providing fans with memorable moments from sports history. Viewers can see that some of their favorite fan videos have over 6 million views, with some approaching 10 million through career highlights and the best NFL matchups of the past. 
As a result, their annual earnings are likely to be on the higher end of the estimate of around $416,000. Before we get too far into it, I'm not sure if it's for you, but if you know someone who's interested in growing their channel and dominating YouTube, then have them subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Just imagine if you've had $10,000 more in your bank account every month. Use my link in the description if you'd like to try an absolutely free YouTube course that can grow your channel from zero to $10,000 in profit on YouTube without showing your own face, using your own voice, or making videos at all. The third category you can enter is the sports niche includes sports gossip channels. Who doesn't enjoy a little sports drama? There's a lot of news and scandal to go around with different rivals and feuds as well as who the most prominent stars are dating, which is why these types of niches are interesting for faceless sports channel YouTube ideas. You could limit it to one sport or make it more general. This is a popular genre, as evidenced by the number of YouTube channels dedicated to it. We like to despise the biggest stars and live vicariously through them sometimes. NBA Central enables its audience to do so by providing videos such as 8 items LeBron James owns that cost more than your life. Unsurprisingly, this video has received over 1.3 million views. The Sportus is another channel that makes videos in this genre. In the first paragraph of The Sportus, they admit that they enjoy delving into the lives of NBA stars and everything that surrounds them. The Sportus falls under gossip, but with a basketball twist from checking out NBA stars' wives and girlfriends to dedicating an entire section to what's going on with Steph Curry. They have over 65,000 subscribers and their videos have received over 1.2 million views over the past 30 days. Rebound is another YouTube channel that has done well in terms of viewership. Their channel is classified as gossip because they constantly delve into the lives of NBA stars. For example, if you want to know everything Shock owns that is ridiculously expensive, go to Rebound. Now that we've discussed the various categories in the sports niche and I've shown you examples of channels and how much they earn, let me tell you how you can create these types of videos so that you can get a piece of that YouTube income. For free. So how does one go about making these videos? Allow me to demonstrate, as you can see from the previously mentioned channels. No one is recording videos or revealing their faces to the camera. The videos on those channels consist solely of internet clips and commentary explaining what is happening in those clips. I'll go over those stages in depth in this video. The first step is to find a video topic. VideoHue is a keyword research tool that can help you organize everything about your video, including the title and description and find video themes. Another method for coming up with a title for your video is to search Twitter for hot trending sports topics. You can even make a highlight video of a previous game that occurred. The last match that happened, depending on the sports niche, can also assist you in deciding on a title for your video. Another way to get an idea for a video title is to visit some of the most popular channels in your sports niche and then remake their most popular videos. For example, if the most popular video was 8 items LeBron James owns that cost more than your life, you could rename it Top 5 Most Expensive Items LeBron James Owns. So you're effectively duplicating popular content to achieve similar results because it's been demonstrated before. After deciding on a title, you must conduct research and write a script. I recommend writing your script if you have more time than money. If you cannot write an excellent script and have more money than time, you can hire a freelancer from Upwork.com or Fiverr.com to write the entire script. When writing a script, the structure must be established first. While some freelancers will write a full script for you, it will not be a blank canvas if you can provide the structure. Starting with a blank canvas can be challenging, especially if you do it yourself. You'll need to conduct extensive research on the subject, including watching multiple videos and taking notes. Your script will look fantastic. We're following the successful channel's lead because they're successful. Modeling success does not necessitate word-for-word -word replication or using the same framework. It will be easier to write the script if you have the structure written down. After writing a script, I recommend running it through Copyscape to ensure that it is unique and free of copyright violations. After writing the script, the next step is to record the voiceover. If you don't think you'll be able to complete the voiceover to your liking, you can always outsource it to someone who can do it professionally via Upwork.com, link in the description. Numerous people can do voiceovers for you on those platforms, so I would look for the most affordable one. Again, this is based on the assumption that you have more money than time. I recommend doing your voiceovers if you have more time than money. This is exactly what most YouTubers do when they first start their channel. You'll need a microphone if you want to record it yourself. If you don't want to spend the money on a good microphone, I recommend using your phone. I'm sure most people watching this video have a smartphone and recording voiceovers is as simple as using your phone's built-in voice recording program. So now that you've finished your script and voiceover, it's time to start collecting videos, images, and content for your video. 
Now I'll show you how to locate video clips for your project. You can use a program called i2make to download YouTube videos related to the topic you're discussing. For example, if you want to make a video called Top 10 Best Dunks by Lebron James, you can copy the video URLs of the clips on YouTube, where Lebron James is dunking and paste them into i2mate.com and then download the 1080p versions of the videos you want. If you use stock footage and images in your videos, you can download them for free at pexels.com or pixabay.com. All that is left is to edit your script, voiceover, and your downloaded videos together. If you want to edit the videos on your phone, I recommend downloading PowerDirector, which allows you to edit and upload your videos to YouTube. Assuming you were using a computer, I would recommend it because a computer has many features that a phone does not. It will allow you to optimize your videos better. If you're working on a computer, I recommend OpenShot, which can be found at openshot.org or Camtasia, which is even better because it allows you to record your audio within it, making things even more accessible. Now that I've shown you how to make videos in the sports niche, let's talk about monetization. You can start running advertisements when your channel has 4,000 hours of watch time and 1,000 subscribers. I recommend making your videos at least 8 minutes long to include many ad breaks. After you've monetized your video, I recommend including an ad every 2 minutes, one at the start and one at the end. You can make a lot of money from ad revenue, and let's talk about other monetization options that might help you make more than just ad revenue. Because YouTube AdSense is only one of the money sources we've examined, let's look at some other monetization strategies. Affiliate marketing is another way to monetize your uploaded videos. This is the most accepted monetization method because it is so simple. As a result, in exchange for a commission, you are essentially a middleman who connects a buyer to a program or a product. Assume you go to an affiliate marketplace like Digistore24.com, where there are thousands of different items to sell. Once you found the product you want to promote, include a link to it in the description and pin it in the comment section of every video you upload. All you need to do is inform your viewers about the links you shared in that video. It is critical to understand that if an affiliate product is related to the content they are reviewing, the likelihood of them purchasing it increases dramatically. As a result, selecting a product related to the video you're making is critical to earning a second income. And it's a wrap. So what are your thoughts on the sports niche? Comment below telling us which category of the sports niche you would start making faceless YouTube videos about. Some of you may be aware that my channel is associated with Matt Parr. He provides a variety of secret growth tactics for making money online in 2022 using YouTube Cash Cow channels. If you're interested, you can find his 100% free course under the description. It shows you how to make up to $30,000 each month online, just like he does. If you enjoyed this video, then check out this video on your screen that I selected just for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.